Okay, so um, this is going to be part two of our barcode tutorial. So let's before we start, let's do a quick recap of uh, what we have done so far. So we did a simple UI here. We created a simple UI with a text box, a button, and a picture box. And in our button click event, we added our code to create the uh, QR code. Okay, simple enough. Well, again, uh, I guess I should mention we added this we, zebra crossing library and we added these two namespaces. Okay, so let's run this and um, see what we have so far. So if I type in here www.youtube.com and click our button here, QR code button. Our, our QR code will be generated here. And to test this, whether this QR code is working or not, if you pull up your smartphone camera and scan the barcode, you should see something like this. Oh, with a notification that says open in YouTube. Or if you don't have a YouTube application on your phone, you may get a Safari notification that directs you to youtube.com. Okay? So that's a nice little way of testing your QR code, whether it's working or not. Okay, so that's that. Um, let's close this out. And now we are going to in this tutorial, we are going to save the QR code in a file. So I'm going to copy and paste this button here. Okay, I'm going to change the title or the caption of the button. Uh, while my button is selected, I'm going to go to Properties. And I'm going to change the text to save QR. Okay. Uh, next, I'm going to double click this button and go to code behind file. All right, before we go any further, I want to create a new um, directory here on my desktop. Um, let's see. I'm just going to right click here. This is my desktop fol folder, as you can see. I'm going to right click in an empty spot. I'm going to say no folder and then type in my QR test, I guess. Or oh, let's say QR files. Okay. And then go back to our button click event, button to click event handler. First, I'm going to create a variable that's going to point to that directory. So string, I'm going to call this initial directory, initial dir equals. Um, since I know where it resides, I'm going to just, well, actually, you know what? Let's copy and paste this. This way we don't make any simple um, type errors. So I'm going to just copy and paste this part. And add um, QR tests. That was the form. QR tests. I think that was the directory name we just created, right? QR files. See, it's really simple. It's easy to make simple mistakes. Okay, so once we have this variable pointed to this directory, I'm going to create an instance of a save file dialog. So I'm going to name this dialog equals new save file dialog. And then I'm going to set the initial directory 
to actually. Yep. Okay. Initial director to initial to DIR. So, in other words, when we try to save the file, we want this directory to open, and it's versus trying to find where the directory is. Okay. All right. So we have the initial directory set to this directory. Um, next. <coughs> next, I'm going to say if if dialog dot um, I'm looking for a method call. Let me see where the hell was that method call show dialog. Okay, that's the method I'm looking for. <laughs> if dialog dot show dialog is not well is equal equal to dialog result dot okay. That means dialog opens and then we click OK or save button then we want to save the file so we'll say picture box dot image dot save and in here we are going to pass in the file name so the file name is going to come from dialog dot file name okay that's where we type in the file name when the dialog opens save dialog opens Okay, I think that should do it. Let's run this and test it out. So, right now our folder is empty. Okay, let's run this. And you know what? I'm gonna actually set this uh, form to open this screen center center of the screen versus over there so start position I'm gonna set this to center screen kind of bugs me when it opens up to the left but uh, that's an easy solution so let's if we do the same thing www.youtube.com And create our QR. Now we can save this QR code. Right now, our folder that we set for initial directory opened up. Now we can say youtube.com, well, YouTube QR. QR code dot PNG. We can save this as png file jpeg or bitmap or uh, i think a couple other formats but these are the major ones i guess so we'll save this as a png and let's click save and now we all if we open our directory we should have the file in here okay again you can test this with your smartphone it should work without any problem. Okay. Um, we can do something else here. See when we open. Um, I forgot to mention it. So when we open up our save file dialog, we can set some filters here where we can select different formats. Let's go ahead and do that. Next, let's close this out. Let's go back to our uh, code behind, and over here we're going to say uh, dialog dot filters. Filter equals and open close double codes. So uh, let's see PNG. 
uh, that separator sign and then star dot png separate it again uh, jpeg star dot jpeg separator um, bitmap So BMP separator star dot BMP actually BMP and then finally we can say GIF star dot GIF. Okay, I think they should do it. Let's run this again. Testing filters, let's say, and create the QR code and save it. So now we should have our filters here. As you can see, we can save as, let's say, this one, let's save as JPEG. If I type in filter and click save, it should save the file as a JPEG format. Now we have a JPEG format and a PNG format. Okay, you can play with the others if you like to. All right, so that was um, how to save our QR code in a file. Okay, you can share that file with you know people or anything you want to do. It's really up to you. Okay, that will be it for now. Until the next one, take it easy.